what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have that a heavy steel ball held in contact with an extremely light steel ball at a height 5 root 3 meter above a hard horizontal flow the line joining the centers of the balls makes an angle 30 degree okay with the vertical if all the collisions are elastic and sizes of the balls are negligible as compared to height h okay find the horizontal range okay so this is a question of collision and uh, projectile motion included so when the whole system falls downwards and reaches the ground they acquire a velocity of root over 2gh so let me just draw the diagram just before the collision and it will look like the central line will be this one and uh, another one will look like this smaller one okay a clear free body diagram always makes the question simpler so always try to uh, make a perfect free body diagram so the whole system acquires a velocity of root over 2 gh just before the collision okay now this angle is theta now the line of action is this one or line of impact now just after the collision let me copy this diagram the situation will look something like this wait a minute the velocity of this ball along the line of action will be double of the initial double of the initial means that this root 2 gh the component of this root 2 gh along this line was root 2 gh cos theta because this one is also theta so after collision as this ball is heavier and we know when a particle collides with a heavier mass like a wall uh, the particle gains double the velocity okay sorry for example a moving wall the particle gains double the velocity and the additional velocity of the wall that means if there is a heavy mass moving in this direction with a speed u1 and another one a smaller very smaller mass moving with a speed u2 and after collision the system will look like this it will be 2u2 plus u1 okay if the collision is elastic so using the same concept but for oblique collision we will have 2 root over 2 gh cos theta plus just after collision the heavier mass will also change its velocity direction but magnitude will remain same and the cos component along this direction for this root over 2 gh will get added up with this one okay so 3 root over 2 gh cos theta and the component perpendicular to the line of impact will not change for the smaller ball it will remain as root over 2 gh sin theta this one is the horizontal component okay so this one is theta this one is also theta now we just need to see the smaller ball horizontal components of the smaller ball and vertical components of the smaller ball so the net horizontal velocity of the smaller ball is 3 times root over 2 g h component of this velocity along this direction will be cos theta times sin theta plus component of this velocity along this direction will be root over 2 g h sin theta this one is also theta to cos theta 
so it gives you 4 root over 2 g h sin theta cos theta. So, this is the horizontal component and the resultant vertical component will be 3 root over 2 g h cos square theta minus root over 2 g h sin square theta. Okay. So, we can write 4 root over 2 g h cos square theta minus 1. Okay. So, this is the vertical component and this is the horizontal component. Now, we know that the formula for horizontal range is 2 by g into vertical component of initial velocity and uh, multiplied with horizontal component of initial velocity. So, we have 2 by g times vertical component is 4 root over 2 g h sorry there will be uh, root over 2 g h here cos square theta minus root over 2 g h into horizontal component is 4 root over 2 g h sin theta cos theta okay taking root over 2 g h common from here and here so we have 2 4 h 4 cos square theta minus 1 into sin 2 theta so we have another 2 here okay so 8 h 4 cos square theta minus 1 Okay, so four times cos square theta can be written as half into one plus cos two theta. I am just trying to match the answer with uh, the answer given in the book. Eight H times two. Okay. Two two plus two cos two theta minus one sine two theta. Okay. 8 h 1 plus 2 cos 2 theta sin 2 theta. Okay. So, this will give you 16 cos 2 theta plus half sin 2 theta. Okay. So, this is the expression given in the book. Uh, now, if you put theta equals to 30 degree and uh, h equals to it was given 5 root 3 I guess. Okay. 5 root 3 meter. So, your final horizontal range will be 120 meter ok. So, this is the answer. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thank you very much.